Planes. Hello, hello guys. How are we doing? Today we have the second installment in my Road to Orion uh, camo challenge series where uh, basically I go through every camo, uh, show a couple of highlights in the beginning, which is what this currently is, um, and also kills, hop in the gameplay, show you what it's like in gold, and give you the class setup that I found that I preferred, as well as giving you a couple of tips and hints on, on the way to help you hopefully get gold as well. So today's episode is going to be a bit of a short one. I do apologize. Uh, before we get into the gameplay and my discussions about the gun, uh, I do want to say that this gameplay itself, uh, this video itself, doesn't actually have a gameplay section. For whatever reason, when I was recording my uh, gameplay with the AK-47 or the cast of 762 as it's called, um, stupidly didn't record any game audio. So I do apologise for that. Um, so this video is purely going to be the highlights, um, the gun setup, and actually what it looks like gold. So uh, yeah, as well as tips, of course. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, but yeah, let's get let's get straight into it. So the Castle Tempest 2 was a very fun gun to use. In my opinion, it's one of the strongest ARs at long range. Um, statistically, it's got the fastest time to kill at long range, uh, well, medium to long range. And it also does a little bit of uh, packs a punch uh, at yeah, close range, as you're going to see in a couple of these clips, whilst the hip fire is also still quite good. Um, I do want to warn you guys, a lot of these clips in here may be me mounted up because mounted kills were one of the challenges you needed to get to gold in this game uh, on this gun. Um, and so uh, a tip for that, rock deployable cover, plonk it down, play hard point, plonk it down on the cross, which is what you're going to see me do, uh, and just fry as they walk into your line of sight whilst mounted. So, um, yeah, that's what I found best works. Uh, and what I like about this game is the fact that I unlocked the pink camo in um, the P90 challenge in my, the, the, you know, yes, uh, in the P90 challenge. I'm able to use it on any gun. So I thought, you know what, let's whack it on the AK. So that's why it's currently got a camo. Um, the next gun I'm going to be covering is the Castov 545. Um, I think I think there's audio on that one, so fingers crossed we can actually get some decent gameplay for that. So I do apologise for the abolish, no, like the appalling, yeah, appalling quality of this video um, because of the no audio. But hey, you got me talking oh, over it. Fuck. Uh, you're probably thinking, yeah, that makes it worse. But yeah, anyway, um, tips for this gun I would say is. Do not like you've got to be. It's quite a long ADS time yeah, and sprint fire time, so you, which is why you're going to see me playing fairly passively. Um, I think this game here is where I started to try and get mounted kills, which is why you see me chance mounting up fairly often like this. Um, yeah, don't take you if you're a fast paced player. You want to slow yourself down using the 762 simply because or the Castle 762 simply because it just doesn't have the mobility other guns do have, so you're just going to yeah. lose gunfights. But if you catch someone while you're already ADS, you're not going to lose that gunfight as long as your shots are on because, the, it, as I say, it packs a punch. I mean, this clip right here, um, I think I get a couple of headshots. And as you guys know, the headshot multiplayer on this game, multiplayer, multiplier on this game is uh, is is immense. So especially with a gun with this much damage output, the time to kill makes it like almost instant, almost instant. Um it's fun on SD as well. It's good for SD. Obviously, you don't really want to level up your guns on SD because it's slow. Um, but it's really fun on SD because you can hold a line of sight and guarantee you're not going to be. I mean, he was weak, bro. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> look man. at that. Um, I mean, this is another nuts clip where I get just like the bullet penetration as well as pretty high with this. So I did run seven. I did run <laughs> FMJ at some points in this um, simply because you could just wall bang anything as a AK 47 is famous for. Um, but yeah, as I said, oh, I'm going to be going really. into how the gold actually looks and um, the best class up towards the end of this. So if you want to know what that is, make sure you stick around to the end. It's not a long video. I do apologize. It's short. What is it? Like a seven, eight minute long video. Um, typically, my videos would be a little bit longer than that. And the main reason for that is simply due to the fact that, I mean, look at that. I barely put any in them. Um, the main reason for that is simply due to the fact that I don't have the gameplay. So yeah, is what it is. But hey. Um, it's one installment in the series. The best, the rest will be better. I promise. I promise the rest will be better. So yeah, this oh, was that was an OP little spot. So this is essentially what you want to do if you want to get your mounted kills. I've, I'm watching the whole cross from the enemies to the hard point here, and as I say, they're just running out in front of me. It makes for a really easy challenge completion. Um, so yeah, if you are struggling with uh, mounted kills, this is what I would do: jump on hard point watch the cross i think every other I'm kill was sort of fairly sorry. easy the other one was just uh ads kills hit fire kills and just general kills i think it was um and then three kill streaks which obviously just come naturally anyway um but uh, yeah maps wise usable in most maps um farm 18 obviously if you, as long as you're holding pre-aims and pre-fires in that middle bit 
um, you should be good to go. Um, this map, good again. As you can tell, though, I'm taking most of my engagements whilst already ADS because I don't want to... Um, yeah. I don't want to get caught sprinting. I mean, these enemies here aren't the best, as you can tell. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be doing it for the highlights. Uh, I think we've got one last one here. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you in the gameplay. The gun showcase. So here it is in all its glory. Castov 762. Shiny, that is beautiful. How quickly it kills, I mean. It's nuts. It's nuts. So the class up we've got on this is as follows. You've got the Polar Fire S muzzle as the little bit of a suppressor sort of thing. The Stovel DR laser box. The FTF, the FTAC elite stock and the True TAC grip. Other than that, I didn't feel like it was worth putting anything else on. Um, also, I do want to apologize for the fact that some of those clips didn't have any audio and typically I'd have had a, um, a game play in. But unfortunately, my audio was chuffed. So, uh, yeah. But that's the class up. That's the gun gold. Hope you enjoy the episode, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.